checking out 51 Homestead in Freehold. It's a beautiful day, and it's really a beautiful neighborhood. <clears throat> Look, Janine. Stone on the mailbox, and stone on the house. All right, so here's the deal. I'm walking up. It's a huge backyard. <clears throat> Route 18's back here. Straight back. So there's neighbor. Yeah, here's the house. You have neighbor and neighbor and then route 18 is back here at the back end of an enormous yard so let's count how long it takes me to get to the back and then i could see there's trees that they'll, they'll fill in and you won't see route 18 in the spring summer and most of the fall uh, and then you can always plant more it's an enormous enormous lot so Let's turn around one more time. I'm here on patio. I'm about 20 feet from the house. And I'm gonna walk. It's very flat until you get probably three quarters of the way back and it's just like a little bit of a rise maybe pitches up like 10 degrees not even it's nice actually you might be able to sled with some snow okay so i'm coming all the way back to the end of the property here's neighbor got some sheds and... you could probably hear the the rushing of cars you could see them You definitely won't hear it inside the house. And this could all be blocked. You could put up a, a huge wall of arborvitae or a fence back here. And you won't see it at all. There's a chain link fence in the back. Might be able to just cover it with something solid. And this back left corner, it's really thick. You can hardly see 18 at all. You can hear it, can't see it. And again, the lot is enormous. Look how far the house is. I'm going to walk back. I know you hate it, but there's no fencing on either side. Both neighbors are wide open. But it's still quite private. Nice shed. Matches the house, the siding, and the roof. And I'll give you one more shot of the back and I'm gonna go in.